Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. It is getting cold outside, which also means it is 7.30. Oh, oh, and it is dark out now. So, I know I don't upload often as it is, but now this just makes things more difficult than normal. But I am getting ready for this weekend because we have the YouTube call out tomorrow. And I also ordered something that is coming tomorrow, which there will be a video up on the channel whenever that gets here and whenever it is set up. But right now, since we have the call out tomorrow and the, which by the way, cause this video is gonna go up Friday. If you did not know the YouTube call out with Street Speed 717. Damn, who else is gonna be there? I don't even know who else is gonna be there. <laughs> cause Mikey, the OG Zilla, He's at Stacktown, which I'm going to Sunday, which is in Poconos. Um, and Guitar Mageddon Z01, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, so the only person I know that's going to be there is Street Speed 717 and Street Savages, a.k.a. Austin, who is a friend of mine. But anyways, I need to find my little black case that goes around this so I can walk around with this and not this because this rattles around we are getting ready to go tomorrow to the call out event at maple grove raceway and then sunday we're going up to the poconos raceway because there is an event going on that the og zilla was supposed to be at but his gtr is not cooperating so i don't know if he's going to be there sunday or not but i'm still going to go anyways because i just found out and i'm like Oh, I freaked out when I found this out, but Adam LZ is going to be there, which I did not know he was actually there, but Adam LZ is going to be there ripping his 350Z, and Chris Fix is going to be there, and Chris Fix is doing $10 ride-alongs in his drift stang, and I am probably going to get a shit stang in, around Christmas time to beat the living hell out of, because it'll be fun, and who doesn't like burnouts, but... I'm gonna go for a ride along in his drift stang, hopefully, because I've never, I've only done street drifting with my dad and just pulling out of corners and stop signs and burnouts and stuff. That's the most drifting I've ever done in my life. I've never been in a car outside of snow and even rain. Maybe just outside of snow that has linked corners, which will be, that'll be really fun. Plus, I love the smell of burnt rubber. So, there's a drift events going on there's actual racing going on so this weekend is gonna be super fucking awesome and i can't wait um but i do like my jeep being dirty but right now it is not muddy dirty it is just from rain filled dirty so i'm gonna bring you guys along just for a video just to just to the car wash wanted to give you guys an update to what to be looking out for saturday and sunday now, because I don't know what time I'm going to be getting home either of those days, I have no idea what time the video is going to be going up. But I hope I can find my little black case that goes on this. Because I'm going to need this this weekend. And I might take my suction cup out. We might need that. And, oh, when we go street drifting, or not street drifting, when we go drifting on the track, I might also, I'll take the GoPro, but I don't know if I'll need this or not. But anyways, let's go wash off this. We are here, and this thing under this light is just, it's filthy. This is going to be a pain to get off. Everything else will be fine. I got, I've never washed these off, ever. They just kind of get wet when I step on them. Um, but when we get home, we're going to have to wipe down all of this, maybe. I mean, it kind of it's kind of cool that there's mud on the inside, but... This is kind of annoying. I, I definitely actually have to wipe down the windshield because there's finger marks all over it. And then we gotta, I gotta clean everything up, get it nice for the weekend. Um, I don't know how much time I'm gonna have because I only have four ones and less quarters than I thought. And there is somebody getting an automatic car wash next door, but I say we clean this thing. Let's get to it.
I just finished washing the Jeep. And since I've never done this before, I forgot to wash these bitches off. Cause this one has crap all on the underside. I don't know about this one. And that then they just also need washed off. But all of my windows for some reason pretend not to go up the entire way. Cause as you can see, oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna have to wipe that off. There's water coming inside. Surprisingly enough, as of now, oh yeah, there's water in there. But as of now, it's not on the seat, which is okay. And even here, which this one is broken anyway, so it doesn't surprise me. Ugh. This is just a leaky Jeep, but it's the best she's looked in many months. I even, I hope I didn't get any water in my gas tank, but I started washing this side off and mud came coming out, as you can tell. I got it all over myself. So I hope mud, I tried getting it out as best as I can, but I just hope mud doesn't come out afterwards. But she cleans up nice. She's wet right now, so you can't really see any scratches. I got the <laughs> mud stuck all up in there. <laughs> I love this Jeep though. I got 250 left, so we're gonna go over here and uh, vacuum out the inside. Which there's no lights over there. It didn't look like some bright lights. And you guys probably don't want to see that anyways. But if there is good lighting, do some cinematic shooting. Some try it so I have something to edit. Try to do some good editing. And then I'll see you guys when we get back at the house. All right. Now before I attempt to do some slow movements with the camera, this is what I'm working with. Oh, is this on the inside? Hold up. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. I thought that was on the outside for a second. All right, anyways, this is the light I'm working with, so we're probably only gonna get this side. Wanted to point that out, too. This was not there. This was actually, I don't even know how that started because I kept, I it wasn't rusted before. There wasn't a hole there. There wasn't a spot of a hole, and I even, took um paint a while ago uh what's the whatever stuff i use to do my paint my axles with whatever to make it look nice i forget what i use but whatever i used i used on the inside of the fenders too so i don't know how that started to rust but now it's just worse plus most xj guys anyways they'll cut the fenders and then they'll if you don't know, I think they will cut here. I think that's what we'll do is we'll cut here and then fold this under, essentially fold it under, or we'll cut here. But either way, this whole quarter panel section is pretty much, it's like a delete on both sides. Um, and yes, my plastic fender flare paint is coming off. I don't care. Um, I'm gonna get flat flares probably anyways. Um, what else? Oh, there's mud on the tire, even though I just washed it. And yes, if you have not seen my videos, I off-road my Jeep. So yes, there is scratches all over it, but right now, since most of it's wet, you can't see them scratches. And this is bubbling in my paint. What the hell? Let's skip into these shots. Let me do that snap again. date for you guys it is almost nine o'clock I've been here for an hour I think maybe even over an hour cleaning out this Jeep and I'm just going through all my stuff in here while I while I'm doing it and I actually found and I'm so excited but I actually found my third battery and the little black case I was talking about and I knew this was out here but I guess I could I found it but this stuff can go in there. This is for the radio that could go in there. I need to take these things inside. But 
we're almost done. I actually, I even found this change jar with a lot of change in it, but more quarters that I could have used. So I could have cleaned off the Jeep better. And now that it's all dried up, you guys can, I'll show you guys my scratches. But I don't know what, there's like a film there now, which doesn't surprise me. Oh, these little bubbles, I don't know what the bubbles are. Paint chipping, maybe? That's what that looks like. I don't know. Because I can scratch some of it off. But anyways, it's 9 o'clock. I'm still here, I mean. Um, I just got to put everything back now. And then, actually tomorrow morning, I will wipe everything off. I actually took the vacuum to this and got this part off. But this needs wiped. This is all on the inside here. Um... Just every door and window in here, dashboard, needs cleaned off. Put my seats stained, carpet stained, put the rugs or carpet back in, or well, rugs I guess, floor mats. See what other stuff I got here. And then I'll go home. Alright guys, back home. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, got the Jeep cleaned for the weekend. And I lost the black case already. I got the battery. But I... Oh, this is freaking stupid. I actually had one. Lost it. Bought another one. Lost it. And the one that I found, I don't even know which one I found. I don't know which one that is. So, I'm going to go back out to the Jeep and find that. But... Before I do so, again, I just want to tell, remind you, this weekend, look out for videos Saturday night, Sunday evening, so there's going to be, this whole weekend I'm uploading three days in a row, I'm going to put myself to it, um, so tonight I'm, I'm going to edit this, upload this, it should probably be up around 11 o'clock, I'm not even, I'm not going to shower or eat right away, I'm going to download these videos, edit, upload. And then Saturday, I'll do the same thing. We'll go through the whole day. Hopefully the camera doesn't die. I'm going to erase this SD card after I upload tonight. <clears throat> I'm going to charge all three batteries. Um, but yeah, we got the call out tomorrow. And then Stacked Town, or Stacked uh, Motorsport at Pocono Raceway. It's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this upload, leave a like. I am hoping that these cinematics of the wet soapy Jeep turn out okay. Um, but yeah, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I don't have any off-road trips planned, sadly. I will actually text the OG Zilla tonight, see if we could talk him into taking the Land Cruiser off-road anytime soon. But yeah, guys, it's going to do it for this video. Stay tuned all weekend, Saturday and Sunday evening. Click the bell to be notified when the videos are uploaded because they're going to be awesome. But that's going to do it, guys. I'll see you later. Peace out.